Welcome back folks and friends. Uh, today's date is Sunday, June 14, 2015. And I'm making this video again for a, a shout out, uh, not a shout out. I mean, I'm letting you all know that I'm beginning a 24 hour showdown June 16, 2015. And the reason why, if you haven't seen this video yet, it's over on Connecting Dots 2, Connecting Dots 3, and over at the Silver Goal Man. Basically, within the first four minutes and 53 seconds of this video, you get to hear Fukushima Dana Dernford, the nuclear proctologist. That's his own name, by the way. That's what he calls himself. He's, yeah, absolutely full of shit. But that's for another time. What's important, if you go watch that video, boy, oh boy, this guy's inciting violence. I've, I've flagged that video of his. It's not gone down. And basically, I mentioned how he's starting these 24-hour Fukushima Hangout Google Marathons on June 16th. It's a one-time deal on June 16, 2015. I'll be doing the same thing. And as you can see here, I started these nightly shows here. And you can set yourself a reminder. Tonight's show is at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That would be 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And um, if you live anywhere else and you can't make it here on these normal hours, well, you may want to show up on June 16th and the 17th because I'll be here on a 24-hour spin. So the spin's going to be dealing with Fukushima, no doubt about that, and the fraudsters. There's a lot of it. And folks, I'll just go over some of the thumbnails here that I'll be sharing during these uh, shows. Um, but also I'll be dealing with the economy. The, the, the scammers, the fakesters, there's many people here within the silver and the economy world that have woken up and realized that there's, there's fraud. There's definitely that circle jerk of corruption that I've been speaking of. And I will show you again during these shows how even in the Fukushima world, this guy here, Kevin D. Blanche, who was given the heads up by sgtreport.com, which is, which is sgtbull07, uh, basically how they all interconnect. And this is very important because I'd mentioned here how I had emails from a gentleman here on the west coast of Canada who had uh, lent $18,500 to the Kevin D. Blanche as a financial investment. It was an investment fund. Why? Because Kevin D. Blanche had lied to everyone on, t uh, on his YouTube videos, telling everyone that he was a financial guru. Very smart in the markets. These guys are extremely well connected, and I hope you come to the Silver Gold Man nightly shows. And if not, come out through the 24 hours. We'll be dealing with these con artists because this is something that many of you want to know. And I'm definitely the guy who knows this stuff here. I'm just going to show you. Um, just take a look at my... Um, I have a lot of um, different uh, thumbnails, or I should say folders, that I've been collecting over the years on these people. And I can't go over them because I have a lot of them. As you can see here, some of them double up because I've been moving to computer to computer to computer and just building up that whole correct corruption. Corruption, it's just nothing but corruption. They don't give a shit about you. And I'll tie them right up to RT News and Alex Jones. It's very evident, and I hope you come out here because this guy's not alone. Sorry, this guy's not alone. He's interconnected right up to uh, Energy News, Arnie Gunderson. It's the same shit show, and let's let's call them out. I'm going to do it, and I hope you join me here. Um, now, in this latest one, he's talking about the California and uh, the Monterey Beach and all that stuff and how the fish are dying. I've actually got a different story here, and I hope you join me on, on tonight's show. I'm going to talk to you about some of the real facts that he's not telling folks. How I, pr I provided stories in the past showing how the whale poop was actually increasing life. And even how the California, California whales were at an all-time high. He's not going to talk about this stuff, okay? Even like right here, historical data from between 1905 to 1970. When they now estimate that the current population is 97% of the historical one. Yeah, there's more fish, more big eaters at that. I mean, look at the size of that mouth. You remember in 2014 when I made this story, I was talking about this guy's heart is the size of a small car. Where is it? His heart is equal to a car. I thought it was a small car. Sorry, I can't remember exactly every item to word for word. But I remember these things were huge. Yeah, the krill aren't disappearing. There's just lots of mouths out there. So I hope you come out here and I'll even give you the lowdown on the sardines. These people are not giving you the true story. The true stories are out there, but the problem is these people show their faces. And this is what many of you have caught on, that the YouTubers that show their faces are absolute fraud artists. 
Very few are truthful, and if they are, they are definitely not popular like this guy. Look, he's got over 7,300 subscribers, yet I've pointed out time and time again how he's a fraudster. So why is it that SGTBull07 or SGTReport.com would come out and give him a thumbs up? Because it's that circle jerk of corruption that I began speaking of eight months ago when I opened up this YouTube channel called The Silver Gold Man. The one thing I do realize is that people when they realize they've been defrauded and getting bad information on Fukushima from these YouTubers, you folks usually leave. And, or I should say, a good thing is that in the world of silver and gold, these people care about good news because they're it's not only their health, but it's their money. You'll have a terrible health if you don't have the, the, the money. So they're, the people within the economy sector seem to be more concentrated on finding out who the fraudsters are. So that's why I began this channel eight months ago. I'm nearing a thousand subscribers, even though it doesn't show here. Um, yes, they are very, a lot of people want to know about this disinformation gang. And as I said, I've got the thumbnails, I mean the folders that I've been so saving up. So if you even want to talk about Bigfoots, I've got various topics here that I've been covering for years. As I said, I've been making videos since the year 2009 on YouTube. So yeah, um, look at my different thumbnails. And uh, if you want to join the 24-hour Google Hangout, uh, let's talk about it. And I'll be sharing with you all types of real stories that these guys won't tell you about, okay? All the different hotspots, the different varieties. This is something I was talking about in 2014, how there's more fish than ever before showing up on the West Coast. And I'll even pull out some really good stories that many of them won't talk about. So, yes, there's some giant purple blob from the sea. It's not unusual, just, you know, it's catchy headlines, right? But I'm going to give you the inside of it so you know it, you know what's going on. So it's not the first time, as you can see up there. And yeah, I'm going to share with you different stories. That's the one thing I'm good at is, is digging out stories. So the 24-hour marathon, even though you know I can easily debunk, you know, one of the big things is Dana Durnford guy is very concerned about, and I'll mention it again in case you haven't heard me. I'm actually going up to his beach, and I'm going to be filming some of the sea life right on his shoreline in Powell River. And he's very concerned about that because once people actually see what's going up in Powell River, okay, they're going to be shocked. Dana's scam is going to be over and that'll just tighten up that whole scam club even tighter. So yeah, you'll see lots of sea limpets and many other sea creatures, but it, it's just, um, I'll provide real good information here. So uh, stay tuned. I'll, um, it's going to be very interesting, I promise you, and I won't be scaring the bejesus out of you with all these different, you know, stories that are just made up, and um, even on, you know, you go, this is called top news, seriously. <laughs> So it doesn't matter who you are, uh, you know, you can get your bullshit out there. Just grab a camera and spew the bullshit out. And as you can see here, people seem to subscribe, but I don't really believe that, okay, folks? So it's not about eating the fish. It's about certain types of fish, and only I will speak about that stuff. So come get schooled in Fukushima. Come get schooled in the scammers. Come watch, uh, read some good stories with me. It's going to be a 24-hour marathon, and... Um, yeah, I'll mention again, over at the Silver Gold Man, this is where it's taking place. Those live streams go up in eight-hour segments, so as soon as an eight-hour segment is done, there'll be a new link showed up here at the Silver Gold Man, and you'll have to rejoin the 24-hour showdown because I'm not stopping. These guys are in trouble. Someone said in the comments, you don't know nothing about Fukushima, you're just playing. I'm like, whoa, 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 hold on a second. I'm the guy that went across Canada in 2011 when this whole meltdown went down. I'm the one who bought the two uh, Geiger counters and traveled back and forth on my own cash trying to show that there was actually Fukushima fallout. So I've got a long history of doing all these various videos from the very beginning. And as I mentioned, Connecting Dots 2 is actually my backup channel because they took down my YouTube channel, Connecting Dots 1, in 2012 when the New World Order started taking control of everything. So, um, yeah, we can go over all this stuff. Hope to see you here, 24-hour showdown, June 16, 2015. And until then, as I said, I'm holding these nightly shows. Tonight's show is starting, what, two hours in, a little less than two hours from now. So hope to see you. Uh, tonight's show and every other show is at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And as I said, 
June 16, we're going 24 hours. It's going to be fun. See you there, folks.